Good morning, guys. I'm going to have a little tutorial I want to show you um, using the type tool. Some effects using the layer styles um, effect. And also a little bit about the character palette and how to adjust fonts. Now, I'm going to uh, make this an exercise that we're going to use this particular thing that would appear on a brochure, possibly a sign. I've even seen it on resumes. So let's get started. I went ahead and selected um, a font, and for this effect, we want a very bold, thick font. Now, if you want to find out exactly what the typeface is, if you'll go here under your palette, under the A, you'll see it says character. So I'm going to open this up. Now, this this tells me what the font is. Impact. Okay. If I open up um, the directory here, you can see all the fonts are appearing the way they would print or appear on your screen or a website, whatever. Okay, so I come down here, I have my impact font already selected. Okay, now the next thing that I want to do is I want to scale the font and I'm going to do that in, it could be done in one of several ways, but I'm going to do it with the transform tool. So I'm going to go ahead and click that. Uh, the command for that, by the way, I'm using uh, Photoshop CS4 on the MacBook, but of course this would certainly work on, on any you know, PC uh, with Windows, uh, as long as, of course, Photoshop is installed on the computer. All right, so I like the command of just hitting Command-T. It brings up this uh, border box, okay? And I'm going to go ahead and just drag down to lengthen the font a little, and I'm going to spread it out. All right, and then I'm going to hit enter. Okay. All right. So now I want to apply this effect called the reverse white shadow, and basically what it is, it's going to be a, um, a white font uh, text with a shadow background. So in a sense, what we're going to do here is we're going to reverse uh, what we're seeing. So under the color picker here, I like this blue, but you could use any dark color, black, a dark gray, whatever. Okay, I'm going to click the arrow here, and it's going to go now to pure white. Now the command that I like to use to fill a layer, I'm going to use Option Delete or Backspace. Obviously you see white on white here, um, you'd say where is it, but uh, it's showing me that I do have a font there, okay? I do have some text, correct? Correct. All right. I'm going to go ahead and switch this back to blue, all right? Even though that we don't see anything again. But what I'm going to do is open the Layer Styles palette here, okay? What you want to do is select Outer Glow. Now, when this opens up, it's going to show you screen. That, that's the default. So uh, what we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and make that a normal. All right. I'm going to change this to the blue. So I know for a fact that the, to duplicate this exact color, I'm going to type in the numbers right here. And these are the numbers for this color. It will be R0. I will tab to go to the next one. The green will be 27. And next, the blue will be 192. So that gives me that exact color, which I like. Okay. Now, if you'll notice that, uh, it's starting to show up now. Okay. So what we want to do is apply the effect. Now, um, I'm going to go ahead and um, go over here to the blending mode. I want to make sure that this is normal. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and set the opacity here to 90. Pull this dialog box, as you can see. All right. The next thing I want to do is change the technique to precise. This is technique. Change this to precise. Okay. That gives it a little more presence. Right. The next thing I'm going to do, under spread, I'm going to go ahead and increase that, starting very slowly here, 
as you can see it's building up um, you can you can just go and go but uh, what I'm going to do I'm going to put it about uh, 17 now the size this is where the effect is going to really come in so as I have zero here I'll watch what happens when I start increasing the size now we're getting a white font or text with a background like a shadow which is a reverse white shadow and that's the effect that we want to do now of course you can make the decision of how far you want to take this now let's see what happens when you go to softer as you can see it just dropped out some of the uh, sh reverse shadow now I'll go back to precise as you notice it's almost an airbrush effect gradient that type of thing it's a really cool effect I, I really uh, I like to use it I don't like to overuse it but I do see it on signs and things sometimes and it is a cool effect okay all right so just to to reiterate here the effect to do this is outer glow we want our blend mode normal our opacity around 90 percent noise zero this is the color if I click that there it tells me the exact color of blue I have okay we want the technique a precise and then right here under spread as I go around here I'm gonna go ahead and do this at around 17 okay the size we have a 24 and as you can see um, you can of course decide what you want to do all right and there's our effect hit OK and you'll notice here under layers palette it shows you what the effect is which is outer glow so if you get lost you say well I'm not sure what that is so if I come under the add layer style here it's even uh, checked there okay so um, I'm going to show some other text effects on another tutorial but I did want to show you this because I, I really love this effect um, many people use it you know you don't want to overuse it either um, and of course there's a lot of ways you could also tweak this and make it even more original to your own style I'll be offering some more tutorials, so stay tuned. This is Kat, signing off. Thanks.